And I want to show you who these people really are. I want to show you who these people really are. I want to salute CNS, which originally found most of these clips, the Reagan Battalion, which has newly made them, uh, reminded us of them. And uh, this involves Bernie Sanders. He's not talking about Denmark and Sweden. and No. He's hardcore. In this first clip, he's talking about Nicaragua. On August 8, 1985, when Daniel Ortega took over, he's a communist. He's there now. He's killing people now. He's imprisoning people now, trying to hold on to power because the people there are upset because their liberties have been denied. Ultimately, it leads to a police state in one form or another, and that's what you have now in Nicaragua. Cut three, go. One of the things that I, I think I learned on my trip... You know, as, as a socialist, the word socialism does not frighten me, and I think it's probably fair to say that the Nicaraguan government is primarily a socialist government. No, so it's the, a Marxist government, but that's okay. We can, we can call it a kumquat if you'd like. It's a kumquat government. It's a banana. It's whatever you want it to be. Go ahead. You learn down there is that they, socialism or anti-capitalism is much less prevalent than nationalism. Basically, what they're saying is we've been under the thumb of the Marines. As you know, the Marines installed the Somoza family. You know, uh, uh, the United States, which is a, uh, it's a devil nation. It's a devil nation. You have to hate America. That's why uh, most of these fools like Sanders, they hate Israel. They hate America. It's, it's all one and the same thing. Go ahead. Uh, we've been under the thumb of the United States for our entire modern history, and we're not going to be under the thumb of anybody anymore. Nicaragua is our country. We will do the right things for the So he's defending thing. a communist regime, okay? That's what he's doing. Let's just be clear. As much as he trashes America, he's defending a communist regime. Go ahead. We'll make our mistakes, but we will make them independently as an independent and free nation. That is the theme of their revolution. No, it's not the theme of their revolution. The theme of their revolution is Marxism. And the people won't make any decisions. It'll be made for them. So there he is praising one communist regime, Nicaragua. Now he's going to praise Fidel Castro. Also August 8, 1985. And this is in the midst of... Uh, the Reagan administration. Cut four, go. You may recall way back in, when was it, 1961, they invaded Cuba. And everybody was... Now, let's just say they. I guess he means us. And, of course, they invaded Cuba. What he doesn't mention, he, he wouldn't, is that John Kennedy pulled the air cover from the they. Many of them were Cubans who had escaped Castro's tyranny. And they rushed the beaches. This had been organized under Eisenhower originally. And uh, Kennedy, at the last minute, pulls the air cover. So they get slaughtered right on the beach. But anyway, go ahead. You may recall way back in, what was it, 1961, they invaded Cuba. And everybody was totally convinced that Castro was the worst guy in the world. That all the Cuban people were going to rise up in rebellion against Fidel Castro. How do the people in Cuba rise up? Under a police state. Castro, Che Guevara, you know, all those T-shirts. That lionize him, he's a mass murderer, a genocidal nut, and a racist, by the way. They killed people. It's not so easy just to rise up. What do you think, it's Vermont? Go ahead. I forgot that he educated the kids, gave them health care, totally transformed. He educated the kids and gave them health care. You see, ladies and gentlemen, that all works beautifully. That's why the newest car there, if you're a commoner, is like a 1957 Chevy Impala. And they don't have toilet paper in most of their hospitals. And that's why when Fidel needed a heart procedure, stomach procedure, ass procedure, whatever it was, he didn't get it in Cuba. He got it somewhere else. So when you're Bernie Sanders, you have to lie about the conditions. You have to defend the indefensible because that is his ideology. And it's amazing how he doesn't point to Nicaragua or Cuba today. Scandinavia. Look at look over there. Scandinavia. Go ahead. But just because Ronald Reagan dislikes these people does not mean to say that the people in their own nations feel the same. Uh, way. Ronald Reagan is, dislikes these people. As I recall, Eisenhower did, Kennedy did, Johnson did, Nixon did, Ford did, Carter did, Reagan did. 
wasn't just wasn't just Reagan, you know. No, no, wasn't just Reagan, you know. So that's two. And uh, let's see. We don't want number five. Oh, and then of course he's very very excited about uh, where's the Soviet Union? Do we have that one or no? Yes, let's go to cut eight. He's very excited about the Soviet Union. He thinks that's a pretty cool place, too. Cut eight, go. I think it's also fair to point out that when we were in Moscow, for example, I think most of the people here also were extremely impressed by their public transportation system. Oh, they got, you know, the Soviets. They got their gulags. You know, I'm sure he never met Solzhenitsyn or the uh, the other refuseniks. Uh, he... Uh, you know, they've got a great public transportation system. They even get the trains to run on time, much like Mussolini used to, you know. Go ahead. The themselves were absolutely beautiful, uh, including many works of art, chandeliers that were beautiful. It was a very, very effective This man system. is sick. He's sick. The chandeliers are beautiful. The stations are beautiful. They've got a wonderful public transportation People are killed. People are tortured. That regime was responsible for the death of at least 30, 40 million people. He's looking at the chandeliers. He's looking at the chandeliers. Go ahead. Also, I was impressed by the youth programs that they have, uh, their palaces of, of, of culture for, for the young people, a whole variety of, young, uh, of programs for young people, and cultural programs which go far beyond what we do in this country. Always trashing America. You know, the old Soviet Union ladies in there went far beyond America in the way it treated its young people. Oh, yeah. All kinds of programs for the young people. Notice how they all march beautifully. Notice how they all salute beautifully. Notice how they all wear the same uniforms. Notice how they get out of line. You never see them again. This is a very sick man. And one of the reasons he's popular is because the press doesn't expose him. I'll be right back. Mark Levin. 